In this video, we are discussing pig overview. Pig is one abstraction over MapReduce and pig supports both the structured and unstructured data for its analysis. Pig provides one high level language that is pig Latin and using pig we can do different kinds of query executions as when required. So, let us go for further detailing about this pig overview. So, what is Apache pig? So, the Apache pig is an abstraction over MapReduce and using this tool we can analyze a large set of data as the data flow. So, that means it is one abstraction over this MapReduce and it can perform the analysis on a large amount of data set as a data flow. Pig provides a high level programming language. This language will be known as Pig Latin which is used to write code to read, write and process data. So, all scripts in Pig Latin are internally converted to map and reduce tasks. So, whenever we are going for any execution for this pig related applications, then it will be converted to map and reduce tasks. And pig has another component called as pig engine and it takes the pig Latin code as input and converts those script into map, red, map reduce related tasks. And that is the pig engine which is doing the conversion. So, what are the features of Apache pig? So, in this slide we have done a listing of the features in a nutshell. So, Apache Peak comes with the following features. The feature number one is that it provides many operators to perform operations like join, short, filter, etc. So, these operations can be done. Pig Latin is similar to SQL and it is easy to write a pig script using the SQL concept. If you know SQL, then you can write the pig script. The tasks in Apache Pig optimize their execution automatically. So, the programmers need to focus only on the semantics of the language. So, optimization will be done internally. So, the, as a programmer, we should concentrate on the semantics, on the syntax of the language. So, semantic means meaning and syntax means the respective grammar. So, using the existing operators, user can develop their own functions to read, process, and write data. So, Apache Pig analyzes all kinds of data both structured as well as unstructured data. We know the structured data means the data which can be expressed in the form of rows and columns. We can consider the databases that is the RDBMS as which is having some databases will be in the form of structured data. In case of unstructured data, it may be having one text file, PDFs, uh, the images, the videos can be considered as the unstructured data. Pig is capable to handle both these two types of data. It stores the results in HDFS that is Hadoop distributed file system. So, let us go for one demonstration to show you that how to perform pig installation on our system. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this video, we are going to show you that how to install the pig. So, at first we are copying the download link, we are copying the download link and then we shall go for the copy, we shall open the browser and then we shall go for the paste. So, paste and go. So, here we are selecting, we are selecting this particular version and then save file, the file is getting downloaded onto the download folder. So, here we are observing the progress, so pig-0.15.0.tar.gz. hyphen so, that was the file which we plan to install. So, download progress is being observed. So, there is a file that is the download pig hyphen 0.15.0.tar.gz. So, file is getting downloaded. We are observing the download progress. So, download has been done completely. Then, this is the corresponding downloaded a zip file we are creating one folder under the home so folder name is prig and this particular zip file has been is going to get extracted control a and then dragging all the files are getting copied onto the pig folder closing the zip file and then here we are having the uh, execution so at first we are going for some changes in the etc profile file so this uh, export to export there is a pig home and path has to be uh, are to be changed in the etc slash profile 
file so we're going for sudo gedit slash etc slash profile giving the password and the file is getting open we're coming at the last creating a space now we shall copy these two lines that is a pig home and path going for the copy and coming down to the profile file and at the end we have done the pasting now we shall save it and close it now we shall execute the uh, profile file slash etc slash profile we shall execute it so that the path will become effective now we shall go for the pig hyphen version and version has been shown that means pig has got the successful installation now you are initiating the grant shell so we are executing the pig and the grant shell has been obtained in this way we have shown you that how to install pig on our system thanks for watching this video